In this video, we'll look at how you can attach insight objects to your Jira issues via custom fields. We'll take a look at how you configure them and what they look like in the request form and the issue view. For this demonstration, we'll create a new custom field to let the requester select their own laptop from a custom field. In Insight, we have a list of laptops with an owner attribute that links the laptops to an employee object to show who is the owner. We'll start by creating an Insight custom field. I will call it Affected Laptops. Next, I will associate it with the request and incident screens of my main service desk project. Next, I need to configure it to tell it what objects to show. To do this, I select context and default values. We can see here a load of empty configuration options that we will now edit. First, we need to tell it which object schema to pull from. I'm going to select my IT employee asset schema, which contains my laptop objects. Next, I need to tell it which objects to select from that schema. I do this with some Insight Query Language or IQL. I want to say only show objects of the type laptops. I could extend this query as much as I like to be more specific. For example, only selecting laptops of a certain model or those that are in use, whatever the use case calls for. Next, I have the option to set a filter issue scope. This filters the objects in the custom field based on the values in other fields of the issue or based on the values of fields that have already been set in the request form. If I left this blank, it would show every requester, every laptop that we have in Insight. But if I add a query here, I can have it only show the laptop that belongs to the issues reporter. To do that, I say find a laptop that has an owner attribute where the user is equal to the issues reporter. The owner attribute in the laptop object is its own object type that has an attribute called user where we're storing the Jira user of that employee, which is what we're matching here with this query. I'll finish off by selecting a few more options. First, I need to set which attributes we can search on when entering an object in this field. It's not useful in this case as the custom field has already been filtered down very heavily, but it's useful for when you have lots of objects being shown and people might have a few key terms that they could search for objects on. Finally, we set which attributes to display on the issue view. Now this custom field is all configured. You add the custom field to your different request types in your project in exactly the same way you add other custom fields. So I'm not gonna cover that here. Let's switch directly to the request portal. I have added the affected laptops custom fields to the broken hardware issue. I can select an affected laptop and it only shows me this one ending in 01 that belongs to Dante. If I change who the request is on behalf of, I get a different laptop, this one ending in 02. Finally, I'll show you the issue view. Here we can see the custom field that is attaching the insight object to this issue. We can expand it to see the attributes we chose to display earlier. I can also click to see the relationships between this object and other objects. This isn't so useful for a laptop, although we can see what other objects Abby owns but it's more useful when you have your services and the underlying infrastructure that runs them. That's it for this video. Now you know how to create and configure an Insight custom field.